What's going on everybody? I'm back with another Hyrus Coin Brusher video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $20 million buy-in. And they're actually letting us bring our own quarters from previous games today. We got like 500 of them. Well actually 600 of them because they gave us an extra 100 quarters since I did that $20 million buy-in. So anyhow, super, super expensive game today. Wish me good luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with a massive profit. My goodness, they got this thing stacked up incredibly well today. Looks like the world's largest pyramid of chips in there. The orange chips, those are $10,000 chips. And the pinkish purple chips, those are $5,000 chips. They got so many quarters on the play field. They got $1,000 chip towers, $5,000 chip towers, and $10,000 chip towers. There's quite a few gold towers in there today also. Gold bars are pretty valuable. They're worth about $1,970 an ounce right now. Well, that's what the spot price of gold was yesterday. If somebody could let me know what the exact spot price of gold is today down in the comments, I would highly appreciate that. And they also got some gold dice in there today also. I think there's four of them. Oh, nice. Wow, one of them towers fell down that was back there on the pusher. About to get a couple more towers to go back there also. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, that wall, I mean pyramid on the left-hand side, it's trying to go. I think it's going to end up sliding backwards, more than likely. Oh yeah, well the top of it's starting to fall back a little bit. Oh yeah, there it goes. Keep a close eye on it. Come on, big money. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was an outstanding waterfall of chips right there. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is pushing really well. Let's get that loose chute cleared out real quick. All right, there we go. We got that loose chute cleared out. Oh my goodness, did that tower $1,000 chips? Will it? Oh my goodness, I can't keep up with everything that's going on. That massive tower, $1,000 chips, just fell on down into the lower shelf, and it's still standing up. You'll see that tower once all those chips right there fall down into the tray. I don't think that's ever happened before. There was a massive tower, $1,000 chips on the moving platform, but it fell down onto the play field, and it's still standing. Oh, wow, that was a ginormous push right there. Nice, two good pushes in a row. We're getting all kinds of $10,000 chips, $5,000 chips, $1,000 chips. Making out like a bandit today, that's for sure. Come on, massive win. That left side's pushing pretty good, but we do need to push on that right-hand side. Try to get that side moving forward. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'd say we're probably making like goodness two or three hundred grand every single push so I'd, I'd say we've already won like five six seven eight million dollars in chips that is a fabulous start to the game right there anyhow I was talking about those gold dice earlier and I think I got distracted the gold dice if you don't know what those are for we get to roll them at the end of the game whatever they land on the gold will multiply by those numbers so those are pretty valuable to win. Well, we just about got that left-hand side all cleared out. But I'm thinking that right-hand side's going to give us an uphill battle today. Because that tower, $1,000 chips, it's barely moving at all. Alright, so we only got a couple quarters left. That right there was the last of them. So let me go click some quarters real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. So check this out. We got a brown mystery bag, and I forgot to point this out, but there's actually two more mystery bags in there. There's a gold one on that left blue shelf and a pink one on the right blue shelf over there. Y'all may not be able to see the pink one, but it's back there. So anyhow, let's go ahead and open up this brown mystery bag just to see if there's anything good and valuable and beneficial in there. Feels decently heavy, so let's see. Oh my goodness, nice. Check this out. So we got a $10 chip two $1 chips and a $5 chip. 
So if you don't know what this $10 chip is for, this pretty much is worth one free tower. So we get to cash this in and we get to spin a wheel. And the wheel has all these different types of chip values on there. You could get $5,000 chips, $10,000 chips, $1,000 chips. It goes as high as $25,000 chips and it goes as low as $10 chips. Anyway, we get to spin that wheel, whatever it lands on, they will build a brand new tower somewhere in the play field. So this right here is worth one free tower, so I will cash that in later on. And these two $1 chips right here, each one of these is worth 500 free quarters. So I get to cash both of these in, that will give me an extra 1,000 quarters. That is absolutely exceptional right there. So once I cash both of these in, that'll probably put our quarters up to about 21, 2200 of them. Because we already got like a thousand quarters now. And anyhow, this $5 chip right here, we get to cash this in. They will take all of those towers that are on the blue shelves and they'll put them into the play field somewhere. So I think I'm going to wait a while before I cash in that $10 chip. Normally I cash in the $10 chip first, but I think we're going to cash in the five dollar chip first today just because of those two towers being stubborn so anyhow let's get right back to pushing like i said we have over a thousand quarters now so i'm really really hoping we can get them towers on the right side to go come on big money and anyhow that last round was a huge success we made like 20 ounces of gold and we made a tremendous amount of money also. I think we made like a little over $7 million in chips. And we got that brown mystery bag. We just opened that. And we got a bunch of quarters. So sorry if I don't sound too enthusiastic today. Didn't get that much sleep last night. Just had trouble going to sleep and stuff. So going on about five hours of sleep. Me personally, I need like at least eight and a half, nine hours to feel fully rested. So sorry if I'm not really talking as much today, or if I don't sound super enthusiastic. But I'm not going to let that stop me from making a video for you all. Thought I'd stop by here and play today. I try my best to upload at least seven days a week. I think we missed a day the other day or something. Then one day, a couple weeks before that. I mean, I do the best I can. I try to upload every day. Oh yeah, about to get a ton of thousand dollar chips right there in the middle. Nice, there they go. That was a massive push right there. So anyhow, hope y'all are doing good and having a wonderful day so far. Remember, if you're new around here and you enjoy these videos, do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. Would help out tremendously. We're on the road to 125,000 subscribers. My goal is to get to 125,000 by August the 15th. So, probably like what, 16, 17 days away. So, if you're new around here and you enjoy these videos, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. And also, let's try to get 3,000 likes on today's episode. 3,000 likes. I know we can accomplish that. Just need everyone watching to hit that like button. This video can get 3,000 likes within the first day of it being uploaded. Tomorrow, we'll do a $50 million buy-in. How does that sound? $50 million buy-in. But only if this video gets 3,000 likes in one day. So hit that like button. And another thing, it is 100% free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't get paid for y'all hitting the subscribe button or hitting that like button. I mean, in reality, it just makes it a million percent easier for you all to keep up with the future content. Because once you hit that subscribe button, there should be a bell icon right next to it. If you hit that bell icon, it will give you the option to turn on all notifications. If you turn on all notifications, you will get notifications on your phone, TV, laptop, computer, iPad, tablet, whatever you're watching my videos on, you'll get notifications for every time I upload a brand new video. Oh yes, we just got a thousand dollar chip right there. Not bad, not bad at all. So we pretty much got the left hand side all cleared out. Now we just gotta focus on that right side. Yeah, I'm surprised that that tower of thousand dollar chips didn't fall straight forward. It's still standing up. It's holding up that wall of chips up front. 
Yeah, the quarters, the reason why the sides take a long time to fall sometimes, there's those side slots on the sides. Y'all can't see the one on the right side, but you can see that one on the left. If there's any weight or pressure buildup on the corners, the quarters are just going to take the easiest route or the easiest path of travel. And that would either be around the tower or it would be down one of those gutters. So, and the quarters have to be lined up perfectly for it to move the towers on the sides. That's why you might see the towers on the sides move like once out of every 20 or 30 pushes. It's because the quarters have to be lined up perfectly. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters. Let's try one more round. If it doesn't get them two towers, we'll go ahead and cash in that $5 chip. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, AMV Coin Pusher has her turn. Let's get right back to work. So after this round right here, if it doesn't get those two towers to go, I will go ahead and cash in that $5 chip. And speaking of that $5 chip, there's a lot of towers on the blue shelves today. Like I said, there's all kinds of $5,000 chip towers, $10,000 chip towers, gold towers, and $1,000 chip towers. And they also got two mystery bags and four gold dice. So there's actually multiple ways we could win those towers that are on the blue shelves. Today we got that $5 chip, so all we have to do is cash that in. We'll put all them towers into the play field for free. Won't cost us anything at all. And sometimes they'll have a red earbud in there, and that literally means the exact same thing as that $5 chip. And today we got the $5 chip, so we'll get to cash that in. We'll take them towers and put them into the play field. But if that $5 chip or red earbud was not in there today, it would end up costing us two times the original buy-in, and they would move all them towers to the play field. So today that would be a $40 million buy-in to get the blue shelves cleared off. That ended up costing us $60 million in total since the original buy-in was $20 million. So that $5 chip saves us $20 million right there. I mean $40 million. So that's a pretty good win right there. And there is one more way I could get some of those towers off of the blue shelves. For example, say if those $5,000 chips was like hanging over the blue shelf just a little bit. If I stack the quarters up really high back there, I would have a good chance of trick shotting them towers into the play field. But as you can see, none of them towers are hanging over that blue shelf today. So that's really not the best method to use because it wouldn't help you win any of those other towers. It'd only be beneficial for the ones that are hanging over the blue shelf. Alright, so that's all the quarters we had right there. So I'm going to go ahead and cash in that $5 chip and those two $1 chips real quick. And I'll be right back. Alrighty, a and Coin Busher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $5 chip. They took all those towers that was on the side tables. They put them all into the play field. And those two towers that was being pretty stubborn on that right hand side, they combined both of those towers into like one gigantic tower back there on the pusher. It's already losing some chips at the base of it. Oh yeah. Nice, there it goes and we just got both of them mystery bags, sweet. Those two mystery bags, they was right there on the edge. Oh yeah, that was a fabulous push right there. This is doing exceptional. And I cashed in both of them $1 chips. They gave us an extra 1,000 quarters. So we got about 22, 2,300 quarters now. So that should be way more than enough quarters to get the whole machine cleared out today. I'm a little bit concerned about those towers that are on the corners because those might be a little bit difficult to win. We'll see. Yeah. Meantime, we're getting a bunch of chips right there in the center raining chips out of there oh yeah that was a remarkable win right there oh nice oh yeah jackpot baby we got that tower on the right with that gold dice on top of it nice we got two of the towers on the right that is amazing nice we got one of them on the left also so i think we got all them gold dice out of there now we just gotta get these remaining towers and chips well, anyway, let's get that loot chute cleared out. It's getting pretty full. And sometimes if that loot chute gets too full, money will start to fall to the house. It goes into like one great big old bucket and it all goes to the owner. 
Same thing for those side slots right there. That money goes to the house. I don't get a winner keep any of that money. But sometimes they will have a $50 chip in there. And if we win that $50 chip, I would get to cash it in. They would take all that stuff that's falling down the side slots. And they would put it all back into the play field. And I don't think we've won a $50 chip today. Let's see, we got two $1 chips, that $10 chip, and that $5 chip. I mean, we've still got two more mystery bags we got to open, so we're lucky that $50 chip might be hidden inside one of the mystery bags. We'll find out here shortly. Nice, we got that tower $5,000 chips to go. And those two towers on the left, they're moving forward pretty well also. Tower $1,000 chips, it's leaning over the edge just a little bit. So I think the best option on the table now is to push on that left hand side, try to get that tower moving forward. So take a guess down in the comments, let me know how much money you think I'm going to make back today from a $20 million buy-in. I know that's a lot of money to spend on one of these, but I'll do this for you all. I know you all like to see the big buy-in videos, and I try to make these videos as entertaining as possible. And let me know if you'd want to see more videos like this, like big buy-ins, like 20 million, all the way up to 100 million dollar buy-ins, or would you want to see like 5 million to 10 million dollar buy-ins, or would you want to see like 100 thousand dollar buy-ins to 500 thousand dollars? Just let me know what types of videos you'd want to see down in the comments, and I'll try my best to make that happen. And as of right now, we're down like. 16 million dollars today, so that's pretty good compared to most days. Most days were down like 50 to 100 million. Yeah, I played like two other games before this one right here, and both of those was losing games, unfortunately. So I'm hoping we could get a massive profit on this game right here. This makes the third game I played today. Like I said, we need to make like 16 million back to break even. If we can make anything over that, then we'll be ahead for the day, which is what we want. That's how it goes a lot of times. I'll play for like hours up on hours, and I'll play game after game, and I won't win anything back at all. There's been times I've lost up to $200 million playing these games before, so I don't recommend anybody ever try this. You could lose millions of dollars, and I make it look a lot easier than it actually is. We'll talk more about that here in a few minutes. Anyhow, let's collect some quarters real quick, and we'll try to get that remaining tower out of there. Be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. So before I continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and open up one of these mystery bags. So let's see, which one should we go with? I think we're going to open up the pink one first. So let's see if there's anything good and valuable and beneficial in there. I'm hoping this one has a $50 chip. Oh my goodness. Wow, check this out. There was seven white dice in that mystery bag. So if you don't know what the white dice are for, you get to roll these at the end of the game, whatever they land on. My winnings will multiply by those numbers. Wow, that is absolutely outstanding right there. So let's try one more round and try to get that tower on the left-hand side to go. If we don't get it, I will go ahead and open up that other mystery bag. And I will cash in that $10 chip. So stay tuned for that. Hoping that wheel lands on $25,000 chips. That'd be nice. Well, for two days in a row, it landed on $25,000 chips. If I'm not mistaken, we got $25,000 chips on yesterday's game also. So I'm hoping we can make it a three days in a row. I'm hoping that wheel lands on $25,000 chips. Oh yeah, that right side's about to go. Only $1,000 left on there. And that tower, it's moving forward a little bit here and there. Come on, big money. Yeah, we just need a good push on that left-hand side. Let's just keep on stacking it up. Nice, we got that right side all cleared out. Sweet. So let's keep on loading up this left-hand side. Definitely our best bet. And I know it looks like I win all the time. That's because I only upload the winning videos. I never really post the losing games. I mean, I've tried posting the losing videos in the past, and y'all didn't seem to like those too well. And plus, I try to keep this channel as positive as possible. So, that's why I just stick to posting the winning videos only. But anyhow, I probably win one out of every three or four games that I play. So I definitely don't win as much money as it seems. Like I said earlier... 
played two other games before this one right here, and both of those was losing games. Oh yeah, that tower, it's about to go. That's got it, come on. Oh my goodness, it's like hanging more than halfway over the edge. Wow, it's super, super close. Come on, big money. Nice, we got it. That is absolutely phenomenal right there. So let's get that last, uh, what is that like? $8,000 out of there and after that, I will cash in that $10 tip. Well, first we gotta open up that gold mystery bag. So stay tuned for that. Oh yeah, last $8,000, it's getting close, about ready to go. Nice, we got it, got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely incredible. So let's go ahead and open up that gold mystery bag. All right, here it is. So let's go ahead and open it up and see if there's anything good and valuable and beneficial in there. So this right here is our last chance to get that $50 chip. I'm really, really hoping it's in there. Oh my goodness, well I just dropped something on the ground. Oh yeah, nice, check this out. So we got a bunch of $5,000 chips. Let's count these up real quick. Looks like 30 grand and we got that $50 chip. That is absolutely remarkable right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cash in that $10 chip real quick and I'll be right back. Alrighty, Andy Queen Busher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $10 chip and I got to spin that wheel and today it landed on one ounce gold bars. So I'll take the gold bars any day. I was hoping they'd land on uh, $25,000 chips. Like I said, I'm fine with the gold. And I've heard the gold bars are going to go way up in value over the next couple years. As of right now, they're like $1,960 or $1,970 an ounce. Like I said, that's what the spot price of gold was yesterday, but I'm not really sure what it is today. If somebody could let me know what it's worth down in the comments. I would highly appreciate that. And also, I appreciate all the support recently on these videos. Appreciate you all watching the videos, hitting that like button, and leaving nice comments. Truly means a lot to me. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And there was a lot of people told me that I probably wouldn't even get past 20 subscribers. A lot of people told me I wasn't good enough to get a lot of subscribers. But here we are, two and a half years later on the road to 125,000 subscribers. So that just goes to show you don't give up. Don't let anyone talk you down. Don't let anyone get in the way of achieving your goals. Never give up, that's the main message. Well, that gold tower's getting super, super close to the edge of the pusher. You know one thing I just now realized? We haven't used that skill stop button at all today. So whenever that tower gets a little bit closer, we might like use that skill stop button and load up a bunch of quarters at once. How does that sound? I know a lot of y'all love it whenever I use that skill stop button. I mean, it uses a bunch of your quarters though. That's the only problem with it. I think that's a good place to stop it right there. And we're gonna load up a bunch of quarters at once. Hopefully we can get a nice push out of this right here. Hoping it gets that gold tower to fall on down into the loot chute. All right, a couple more if we'll release that skill stop button. So that was like probably 450 quarters right there. Well, it turned that gold tower a little bit and it just lost the gold bar at the base of it. Come on, big money. Oh my goodness. Well, that tower's definitely being a little bit stubborn, that's for sure. And I'm not going to stop till we have the whole machine cleared out today. That gold bar right there in the middle, it's getting pretty close to the edge. Maybe like five or six more pushes and we'll get that. Oh yeah, that's a bunch of quarters that just fell off the right side there. Oh yeah. Nice, there it goes. That's got it. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, wow. Nice, that was a golden avalanche right there. My goodness, I'd say that was anywhere from 50 to 150 ounces of gold. 
My goodness, we've won so many gold bars today. I'd say that at least put us up to 200 ounces of gold right there. And if you're wondering what I do with all the gold that I win, I normally keep it in a safe safety deposit box. I normally just save all the gold that I win. I mean, they do give me the option to trade the gold in for cash for whatever the spot price of gold is at the moment. But I normally just save all the gold I can because I've heard it's going to go up in value over the next like, couple of years. So I save pretty much all the gold I win. Well, that right there was the last of our quarters. So let's collect some quarters real quick. We'll try to get all them remaining gold bars out of there. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So let's get all those remaining gold bars out of there. And after that, I will cash in that $50 chip. How does that sound? Oh, nice. Looks like there's only one more gold bar to go. It's right there on the edge. Come on. Massive push. Nice. We got it. Got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely spectacular. So let me cash in that $50 chip real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMV coin pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $50 chip. They took everything that was down in their loot box. They put it all into the play field. And it turns out they have not emptied out their loot box at all today. So most of these chips and gold that you're seeing in there is stuff that other people have lost to the side slots playing these games today. It looks like there's a yellow mystery bag in there, and I, you can kind of see through it. I think I can see a dice or two. Oh my goodness. That's a very, very valuable mystery bag right there. Oh no. Well, we ended up losing a bunch of stuff to the blue shelf. So, and they also put a gold tower on the blue shelf. So that means that they're more than likely there might be a red earbud or a $5 chip hidden in there. Oh, nice. We got that tower on the right side to go that was back there on the moving platform. And these gold towers on the sides might be pretty difficult to win. I think that's the only battle we're facing right now. Well, the one on the right just moved. Tower of Gold did. Alright, well, let's get that loot chute emptied out real quick. Alright, there we go. We're getting a ton of $5,000 chips on the right side, that's for sure. Can't wait to count up all this money and gold that we've been winning. Oh yeah, that was a good push right there. There's tons of quarters falling off the moving platform. Oh yeah, that was another fantastic push on that right side. Left side, just move forward a little bit more. Well, that gold tower on the right side, it moved forward there for a second, and then it slid backwards. So that's going to be very, very difficult to win, I'd say. And who knows, whenever... So say if we've won a $5 chip or a red earbud, whenever I cash that in get that tower that's on the blue shelf and the rest of those chips that we lost they may rearrange these other two gold towers that are in the play field so after this round right here after we run out of quarters if we don't get these towers to go we'll go ahead and open up that yellow mystery bag so stay tuned for that we'll see if there's anything good and valuable and beneficial in there again sorry if I don't sound too enthusiastic today I know my commentary was a lot better on yesterday's video. I'm pretty sure like 99.9% .9 of y'all can agree on that. But, uh, that's what happens when you don't get much sleep. You just don't have much energy. And that's probably why I don't sound super enthusiastic. But I'll try to do better tomorrow. Try to get in the bed at a reasonable time tonight. Come on, big money. Oh my goodness, I just dropped like three or four quarters on the floor. All right, so we only got one more handful of quarters left. That's all we got right there. And I just dropped one or two of them on the floor. All right, come on, big push. Give me something. Well, that gold tower on the left just moved forward a little bit. So anyhow, let's go ahead and open up that yellow mystery bag. All right, here it is. Let's go ahead and check it out and see if there's anything good and valuable in there. 
feels pretty heavy so let's see what we get oh yeah nice check this out so we got a red earbud so like i said earlier we'll get to cash that in they'll take all that stuff that's on the blue shelf and they'll put it back into the play field and we got two more white dice that is absolutely phenomenal right there so i'm gonna go ahead and cash in this red earbud real quick and they'll take all that stuff that's on the blue shelf and they'll put it back into the play field and who knows they may rearrange those two towers right there i hope so anyhow so i'll be right back all righty amv coin pusher has returned let's get right back to pushing so i cashed in that red earbud they took all those towers and chips that was on the blue shelf and they put it all into the play field and they took those towers that was on the left and the right and they just combined everything that was in there into like one enormous tower back there on the pusher so let's try our best to knock down that tower it's super super close i think if we keep on stacking up that center with quarters the tower should crash down pretty easily so let's keep it going oh yeah there it goes Oh, it just lost ten thousand dollars at the base of it it's a good sign right there it means it's super super close to crashing down well it's leaning toward the right side a little bit nice we got it so that fell in the decent spot i was hoping it'd fall like more to the center that's all right though i think we'll be all right but still let's push on that right side just to be 100 percent positive that we don't lose anything to the gutter because a lot of times stuff will like to crawl over there to the gutters and we'll end up losing it. Well, I think everything's in a pretty good spot. It's all right there in the middle. Oh yeah, that was a fabulous push right there. Oh yeah, that was two good pushes in a row. Absolutely spectacular game today. Alright, so another push or two and we'll have the whole machine cleared out. Come on. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely phenomenal. This has been an excellent game today. Absolutely excellent. So now I'm going to call them over here. I think we've won 13 dice in total. We got 9 of the white dice and 4 of the gold dice. They will put all 13 of them dice back there on the moving platform. We got to roll them on down to the play field there. Whatever they land on, we get to multiply our winnings and our gold by those numbers. So let's call them back here real quick. We'll get right back to it. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So I called them over here. They put all 13 of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they land on some enormous numbers. Well, it looks like three of them dice landed on ones so far. The ones are zeros. I don't know, four of them did. Well, we might be able to flip a couple of them ones over to something else. My goodness, a bunch of them are landing on ones, unfortunately. Nice, that, that one right there landed on a six. That's pretty good. Let's see what that last dice is going to land on. But well, we do got to be careful because those dice are getting pretty close to the edge. If any of them dice were to fall over the edge or down the side slots, we'd lose them. So, I mean, those are still some pretty good numbers right there, except for the ones. So, I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold by all that, and I'll let y'all know what we've won back from a $20 million buy-in. Be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely remarkable. I ended up winning $9,437,000 and two hundred and fifty dollars in chips and all of them white dice combined totaled up to twenty seven and in total i ended up winning two hundred and fifty four million eight hundred and five thousand and seven hundred and fifty dollars from a twenty million dollar buy and that is absolutely outstanding that's another huge life-changing jackpot win right there absolutely mind-blowing and on top of that, I ended up winning 208 ounces of gold. And all them gold dice come out and ended up multiplying the gold by three. And in total, I ended up winning 624 ounces of gold today. And those are around $1,970 a piece. So that's not bad, not bad at all for a $20 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's episode, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video.
So I'll see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day.